Hello guys, you're welcome to our channel, a home of entertainment, news, politics, and several other articles. If you're new on this platform, hit the red button on the video and be updated with our latest trending. Another wonderful topic comes your way this morning. Mayeti Allah threatens Taraba Emir. Over 30 days automaton given to Fulani headers. Bello Obodoje, national president of Meeti Ala Kutai All, has said the group will ensure that Abbas Tafida, Emir of Mori in Taraba State, is dethroned. Bodoje stated this in reaction to the 30 day automatum issued by the Emir to Fulani Hesmen last month to vacate forests in his domain or risk being wiped out by armed youths. Tafida had during the LD Kabil Se Sermon issued the ultimatum as he lamented the terror unleashed by armed headsmen whom he allegedly had who he allegedly had been killing, kidnapping, and raping his people. He explained that the people had warmly accepted the Fulanese and do not deserve such treatment as payback. He said, from now onward, if anyone is kidnapped from this emirate, we will go into bush and kill any Fulani man we see and we will not ask for his name or what he does because the Fulanese cannot say they do not know the kidnappers. They had better stop them, the emir has said. Our young people are inactive. Police at a time caught a district head convening with kidnappers and they gave him bail. He had the audacity to go back to his district and the youth did nothing. From now on, anyone caught convening with kidnappers who will kill him and his family members. Police should be warned. We have respect for them, but when next they arrest someone convining with kidnappers and they let the person go free, we will also arm the youth to protect the citizens. Our Fulani herdsmen in the forest, you came into the state and we accepted you. Why then will you be coming to towns and villages to kidnap residents, even up to the extent of raping our women? If you are not a Muslim, let us know. Because of this unending menace, every Fulani herdsman in this state has been given 30 days automatum to vacate the forest. We are tired of having sleepless nights and hunger alone in the land is enormous and we will not allow this operation to continue, the Emir said. But the Mayati Ala Kutaho, national chairman, in an interview with his son over the weekend, said the Emian has no power to give such automatum because he did not represent any law enforcement agency in Nigeria. He said his men has been grazing in the area before the monarch was born, even before Taraba as a state was created. He warned that any form of attack against his men in the state will not end well for the state. Bodo J also said that Tafida is not a real Fulani, adding that his quit notice will not be obeyed. He stressed that the Emir needs a psychiatric evaluation about the manner he issued the auto uh, ultimatum. That Emir of Muri should be taken to psychiatric hospital. From the way he is talking, there is no doubt that he requires a psychiatric examination. He claims to be a Fulani, but there is no right-thinking Fulani who can issue such a threat to his people. How can he give such an ultimatum? He is not a law enforcement agency or agent or a security agent. He is just an ordinary Emir who is not fully recognized by the Fulani. If you observe, you hardly see him in any Fulani activity or program in Nigeria because the Fulani do not recognize him. Maybe he has a problem in his palace and so started issuing threats to those he perceived were not royal to him. Where is he asking them to go? Taraba state is for everyone. So he doesn't have the power to evict our people from where they are doing their business or trade, Bodo just said. Ask what the group will do at the expiration of the ultimatum, 
Bojo just stated. We don't recognize him and his authority. And since we don't recognize him, we can't obey his directives. Before the expiration of the automaton, we are going to write the governor of Taraba state to remove him as an emir. We are going to write all the Fulani in Nigeria and beyond not to recognize him as an emir because he is calling for a genocide against the Fulani people in his area. Who is he to call for the killing of our people? He is a non-Fulani. How can you claim to be a Fulani and you are calling for genocide against your people? Even my friend and my brother, Samuel Otton, Benue State Governor, has not called for the killing of Fulani, but he is trying to find solution to his own problem. He is a thief, but he is now calling, he is not calling for genocide against the Fulani. I am calling on all Fulani in Mori to continue with their activity. Taraba is my state of origin, and I am calling on the governor to quickly dethrone this emir before he cause bloodbath in the state. He doesn't deserve to be an emir. A person who is in Pan Africa, Pan Nigerian, should take over from him. We are also calling on the Inspector General of Police and the DSS to invite him to explain what he meant by his people to kill Fulani. He gave them one month to do what? Is it only Fulani who are committing crimes? Go and find out the arrest of criminals by IGP IRT headed by Abakari. About 70% of them are not Fulani. I don't know why the Emir will go to this extent. Or he has agenda against the Fulani. Has he prepared any state or country to take this Fulani to? Nobody can go anywhere. Before he was born, Fulani were rearing cows in Jalingo. Before the creation of Taraba State, Fulani were doing their activities there. If he doesn't know, let him go and ask for the history. How old he? How old is he? He may be in his mid seventies, or if he's up to eighty five, then old age sickness has taken over, and that that may be the reason he is talking like that. Wow. On this note, guys. Drop your comment down the comment box. What do you have to say concerning what Mayor T. Allah said concerning the Emir of Mori, Taraba State, who issued 30 days automatum to the Fulani headers residing in his state, in his emirate, that are killing and kidnapping, raping even the women. What do you have to say about this? Put down the comment on the comment box. Is Mayor T. Allah right in ordering that the Emir should be dethroned and be removed? Tell us your opinion. Stay tuned.